Look, Woof, look at this wonderful water from Lake Biwa. Sian has had its fair share of hardships lately. The water dragons on the rampage and that strange mist all over. But it matters not what trials present them to themselves to us. If we solve them one by one, we will emerge unscathed. I suppose my work here is done for now. Thanks, Wolf, you did a great job. Praise me! Praise me! So... Let me talk to him. It matters not what trials present themselves to us, etc, etc. You're welcome. Gag, I feel like my whole body is being choked by something. I've been fall feeling rough ever since that cursed zone appeared. Many are even worse off than me, some have succumbed to illness. Oh, our poor city, what's happening to us? Uh, it's probably demons. <laughs> You're probably gonna die. So this is the carpenter's house? What about the other carpenter's house? Uh, examine. That's an obscene big hammer, and it looks like it's seen many years of service. I suppose this is one skillfully crafted saw. Why are there two carpenters in the city? All right, we're jumping across. Ah, uh, we are, we are failing, failing. We are failing. We are drowning. All right, we're fine. So we come across the bridge. Come across the bridge here, and then there's these people. Let me just look for loot for a little bit. There is the cursed zone over there. Do running around. All right, hi. Gra, I was traveling the country to perfect my martial arts, but when I arrived here in Siam, I suddenly started to fall ill. I had heard rumors before that Queen Himiki's holy power was incredible. Surely this can't be her doing. This mist across the city is too suspicious too. But I won't let it get the better of me. Nothing gets the better of me. If you say so. What do you want, doggy? Come to see Miss Rao, have you? You can hear her give her sermons in the lecture hall up ahead. She's taking care of things while Queen Himiko's in the palace. Without the cursed zone and that mysterious illness, life here in Seyan is full of uncertainties at the moment. We're so lucky to have someone like Miss Rao to lead us. She's there for all of us, cats and dogs included. I have been feeling too well lately. I haven't been feeling too well lately. And I'm not the only one. There are sick people across the town. Some of them are so ill that they've taken to their beds. I'll be fine because I'm fit, but it's the weak folk I worry about. To make matters worse, the water dragon seems to have gone mad. It's causing all sorts of trouble out in the sea. It's only natural that everyone's feeling so uneasy. If only Queen Himiko would show her face. I know she must be busy praying, but the people would be so happy. I wonder what's going on with her. Ah, uh, right. Lecture hall? The city's bigwigs live across the bridge ahead. That area's full, cramped full of awesome palaces. One of them belongs to Queen Himiko, ruler of Nippon. You can tell because it's really huge. I've no idea what she's like, but I'm not sure I'll like her. I mean, she does seem to be doesn't seem to be doing anything about this mist. Plus, I make a point to never trust queens and the like anyway. All right. Seian City, aristocratic quarter, and of course the bridge is lowered. Can I jump in? 
to the water? Can I do that? Is there loot? Hold on, let me just look carefully into the water. There does not appear to be any visible loot. Although you never know. What a hey, what is that? What is that over there? Crazy. Hi guys. Alright. Did the oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why? Why that's not a real lily pad. Uh, there does not seem to be any loot in the water. Ben K. <laughs> last, the time is near. Ben K, the fisherman monk, shall lay claim to his 1000th sword. What? What on earth? Wandering warrior monk Ben K. I've traveled far and wide challenging master swordsmen, and 999 swords I have claimed by my own hand. But now that I have defeated all who would dare challenge me, that last sword has eluded me. I need but one more to make 1000. And thus aimlessly I have wandered, that is, until a legend drew me to Seian City. It is said that a living sword lies in the depths of Lake Biwa. Have you heard the legend about Lake Biwa? If even I could barely believe it when I first heard. But they say a living sword swims freely about in these waters. If true, it would make a fitting addition as my 1000th sword. It's a swordfish. Of course it's a swordfish. This bridge is a very special contraption. With one command I can make it passable and another impassable. As you can see, it makes for a fine place to fish. It grieves me to cut off access to the city, but I'm afraid this bridge shall stay this way while I fish for the living sword. Of course that may be easier said than done. Can we just fish already? This is no mere fishing trip for me. This is a true battle with the living sword. Therefore I must arm myself with the right weapon. That fishing rod over at the two dealer in town would be perfect. Oh, you should see it. It is the purest of white like new fallen snow. There is no chance of victory without that rod. Alas, it would appear that I cannot afford it. Oh, what am I to do? <gasps> you... I have to buy your fishing rod and then help you fish and then you will raise the bridge. What an asshole. <laughs> These people. He better give me praise after we get the fish for him. <laughs> you better praise me for this, old man. Uh, yes, by blinding. Wait, what? Fishing rod combining the purity of snow and the spirit of work. Fishing rod especially augmented for marlin fishing, but why? A mixture of many medicines capable of curing any ailment. Made by burning wood at a high temperature, perfect for drawing. So these are quest items, right, that I need to buy? Let me just buy all of it. I mean, I suspect that we're just going to need all of it at some point. Alright, we have the quest items. We also have less money now. <laughs> Everything's expensive. Maybe I should grind for money.
You. This is no mere fishing trip for me, living a sword, etc, etc. Oh, you should see it, etc, etc. At last, etc. Mm, that's... that's blinding snow, the rod from the tool dealer. With that fine rod, I would at last have a chance against the living sword. Now be a good doggy and give it here. Yes. How is it that there's like this mist everywhere and he's just fine? Oh happy day, I have never fished before, but it should not be much different from a good sword fight. Now to catch the 1000 sword, I shall engage it in mortal combat with that elusive living sword. Uh, hmm. I have been holding my rod over this water for some time now, however the living sword has yet to bite. But you know what they say, patience is virtue, I shall sit here as long as it takes. Emmy, good head, he is never gonna let us across that, this way. Time for some of that angling magic of yours, show him how to do it, fish the living sword out of that lake. Alright. I wonder if there really is such a thing as a living sword. Yeah, it's a swordfish. And we have to help him catch it. Should I like catch a bunch of other fish as well, so we can get more money? Yeah, no, I know, I know. Do. Well, we're fishing again, guys. Get that Gobi. Well, there's our target. Nope, there, there's our target. That's it? Is that the fish that we are after? It's not done. Ha ha ha! You caught Cutlass Fish, the living sword. Well, close enough. The gods be praised! At last, at last I have fulfilled my dream. What a weirdo. <laughs> what a strange man. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. So that is the living sword. That is what I have been pursuing all this time. Oh, don't take it so hard, I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. And a cutlass is kind of a sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? <laughs> Spare me such solace. But enough about that, a monk never goes back on his word. I shall make this jigsaw bridge passable once more. Okay. Can I...? Can I, like, have praise or money? I have come to realize how foolish my obsession with swords is. But fishing, now that's a most worthy pursuit. <laughs> sure thing, man. If you say so. Yeah. Whoa, stop at me. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, Furball. Oh hey, this guy is here. What's his name again? Walker. Well, well, look at what the cat dragged in. The, the dog, the dog dragged in. What took you so long, Marjorie? Eh, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. 
we are not gonna forget what you did to us back at Orochi's cave. We don't. Who cares? And why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm. Excuse me, but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. But some top you are. Shouldn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is, it's just... Getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy, wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? <laughs> Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. Uh, I desire a path to the heavens. A path to the heavens? Oh, stop beating around the bush and let us know what's on your mind. <laughs> this path concerns you too, my cherie. Do we have to talk to him? Like, he's the most boring person in the world. This city is in a bit of a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments his people. Like, he talks and he never does anything, right? He never helps. He just talks. You think... Same with Isun. You think we're stupid, we see right through you, pretty boy. How ah, we've got you all figured out. Like, they're both just... They just talk, they never do anything. This funky mist in your so-called path to the heavens, you're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step, you must first deal with this mist. It is slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Why are you talking about it like it's someone else's problem? You're behind it all. Can these two like... Shut up? Can these two like shut up? Can I like... Should I- can I skip all this? What could we come out of arguing about it here? Me thinks you should be doing something about this mist now. How about a tip at this time? No. I don't care. I don't care what you have to say. Go through the hole in the wall. Let me put it this way. Even at the most solid defense is a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. Understand? I don't... I don't want a clue before I even see the puzzle. I hate these people. Hi. I wonder how much longer it'll be before it's my turn. This horrible choking mess is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I get any work done at all lately. I have to come and see Rao at least once a day to stay sane. Oh, really? Really? The lady who tells you how to stay sane. I come to listen to Rao's sermon again today. My old back's been terrible since that weird mist came along, but Rao's sermons make me feel better in an instant. Rao's been ahead of... been head of Enkoku Temple for as long as I can remember. She's so lucky, always looking so beautiful and young. <laughs> She's a vampire! If only I could say the same about myself. Rao is the head of the Enkoku Temple outside the city, but she's come all the way here to help us. She's always makes the effort to come when we need her, and she's extraordinarily beautiful too. I feel a thousand times better just looking at her. Wow. Ah, even dogs are coming to hear Miss Rao speak. Look at the crowds she draws in. They're all waiting to hear her comforting words. Some of them might not have the purest of motives, of course. She is incredibly beautiful, so it is to be expected. If only I didn't have to stand on guard, I could meet with her too. This is the lecture hall where the regent, Miss Rao, gives her sermons. She bestows guidance on people who have lost their way. Don't worry, but Miss Rao doesn't discriminate. You'll get your turn if you go to the end of the line and wait. <laughs> yeah, right. That is not a real door. It's a fake door! We've been lied to! So is this! It's all a scam! Uh, is she half naked? Is that what's going on? There's a mirror here. Okay, she's not half naked. Exorcism slip. There's a 
door back there. Land of the Gods. Oh, really? We're gonna... Are we gonna go there already? Travel guide. Oh, wait.